Good afternoon, YouTubers. Thank you for joining me once again as I take you on my journey into Lekka. My name is Kay and I've done a few of my houseplants um, into Lekka. I've done a few videos where I've taken you um, on a tour, basically, of how I've repotted my plants into Lekka from soil. Now, today I want to show you two plants that I've got. Um, one of them is the mistletoe cactus. This should be blooming um, or flowing late winter, early spring. I'm not sure that this will do this for me because I've struggled to keep this plant alive. Um, if you've watched my previous videos, you'll have an idea of what went wrong um, in terms of my um, having bugs in my soil. So I... I'm really pleased because I, I came down to just about two leaves with this one or stems as um, whatever you want to call it. And um, I've since reported into Lekka and it seems to be doing quite well. So I am pretty sure that this will this guy will now survive now that I've reported it into Lekka. The next one I want to show you is my Christmas cactus. Now, this too, I did have a um, plant off and basically it died from me. And I managed to have two leaves left that I've also put into Lekka and um, it's sitting there in the kitchen. This I got from a friend. I think uh, they probably saw my picture that I put on Facebook because I was pleased that I saw what looked like a bloom on the little tiny stem that I had. And the next thing I know, this came in the post for me. So this too suffered a bit because I don't think the journey to me was very good and all the buds fell off. All but one that has bloomed quite nicely for me. Now to just tell you a little bit about the Christmas cactus. They come in different colors and there are quite a few varieties as well. Um, they're called the Easter cactus, the Thanksgiving cactus, and of course the Christmas cactus. I believe there are different varieties which will bloom at different times. So this one will bloom in the winter time. And it, these ones are basically unkillable until you get me basically. So, um, you, if you want to propagate these, uh, if you've got these or you want to to, um, to propagate them, you take from the second stem. So not the first stem because the first stem will always be, or leaf will always be the younger one that's coming up. So you would take from the second one, just break it off and pop it into a bit of soil to get it going. Or you could do a water propagation if you choose to do so. Now, after I realized that this plant wasn't going to do a lot for me after I got it, um, in the post i let it sit because normally i want the plant to be as undisturbed as possible because technically when you get a plant from the garden center it should be able to stay in the system in the the soil that it is in for up to six months could be more as well because i would have given it enough fertilizer um and um you know, everything that it needs in the correct soil as well um, for the plant. So it should uh, be able to live in the medium that you get it in for six months. But I wanted to change mine into Lekka because it wasn't doing very well. So I took it out of the soil, wash it properly, wash the root and um, to get rid of all the soil that is on there and pop it into Lekka. I realized today though that there is no water left in this one. It is actually bone dry. So I will, will be topping up today. I only use rainwater for any of my plants, whether it is the um, plant in soil, which I still have some of, or plants in Lekka. If you don't have rainwater for any reason, you can't get some rainwater, then it is best to use bottled water, which will be quite expensive anyway. So I wouldn't recommend the regular tap water for the Lekka because the Lekka will only cling on to the minerals that is in the um, 
tap water, which is namely chlorine, and you wouldn't want that for your plants. So if you can catch yourself some rainwater, then that would be great. With the propagation of the mistletoe cactus, guys, it is basically the same as the um the Christmas cactus. Very easy to propagate. As you can see, it comes in, it, it's got little stems. Mine at the moment, I wouldn't break any off of. So when they're young like this, you wouldn't want to propagate. It's a thicker, fatter um, stalks that you'd want to take off. You can see these are really fat and thick. And you would go again um, at the second or third stem just to make sure that you give this the best um, option of survival. They do bloom greenish, whitey flowers late Chris, late uh, winter, early spring, these will bloom and it will have little berries, little white berries on similar to the actual mistletoe as well. I don't know if it that is why it's got the name mistletoe cactus because there's some similarities with the berries. Now, um, I'm waiting to see what both of these guys will do for me in, um, in terms of having repotted them into Lekka. I can see that this one is looking really good. Um, so both are actually. So yeah, I think that these will do quite well for me. So I will keep you posted in another video to give you some updates as to how these guys will do. This one won't bloom again um, until December next year because it's it's a um, winter bloom plant so november december january um this one should come into bloom again so but 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 i am quite pleased that it did manage to keep one flower and to it open for me so in that respect i'm quite happy and that was since i took it out of the soil and put it into the lecker system okay guys so this is it for today um please do not forget to like and subscribe to my video i've got a few more that i've done previously and there's more to come but if there's anything in particular that you'd like to see from me in terms of plant and liquor please do not hesitate to put a comment in the comment section below and i'll get those posted for you now um don't forget guys click on the little red button in the corner there to subscribe to my video Enjoy the rest of your day and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.